Most of them we spoke to, like you said, have been trying to access the CBP1 app for a while now, but have had a lot of issues like glitches, the app crashing, but we have somewhat of a positive update. We're learning that the app has now added more appointments and they've started to prioritize those who have signed up. Now, I do want to break down exactly what this means. So they're transitioning to a new appointment scheduling system, making appointments available for 23 hours each day instead of a designated time. Now this allows for more flexibility and access to scheduling. CBP one app will also increase the number of appointments available to approximately 1000 each day. Right now, all the appointments become available at the same time. But with these changes, non citizens will have enough time to make requests and confirm appointments at their convenience. Now, this is to help reduce pressure, pressure and dependency on Internet and connectivity, which has also been a big problem for migrants. Another major issue is dealing with smugglers. Now, to cut them out, the app is prioritizing appointments for those who have been waiting the longest. It's important to note that in order to schedule an appointment, you must be in central or northern Mexico to both request and uh, confirm one. Now our CBS 8 reporter Richard Allen, he's been in Tijuana speaking to people who finally got an appointment. Pero por lo menos ya me pusieron un, un tiempo al cual yo tengo que esperarme. And he was saying that, of course, uh, he finally has a time scheduled where he is now going to wait for more information about how to process through an appointment on the CBP-1 app. It's nice to hear that they're really making an effort to make it somewhat easier and clearer for these migrants because it's really been a tough situation for them. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you from San Ysidro.